What is up guys and welcome back to the channel, so today I'm going to be going over how I think Red Death could end up appearing in The Flash Season 8. But of course, before we get started, make sure that you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment any other video suggestions for me. So guys, of course, ever since The Flash Season 5, when the Red Death's uh, name was first mentioned, uh, people have just been theorizing when Red Death could appear and, you know, who the, who exactly he might be. Is obviously, Bruce Wayne isn't the easiest uh, the easiest character to use in the Arrowverse. Um, if you guys don't know who Red Death is exactly, he's a basically uh, evil version of Bruce Wayne who has Barry's speed force powers. Yeah, I feel like people get this really confused. In the comics, Red Death is not the combination of evil versions of The Flash and Batman. He's just an evil version of Batman who has Barry's speed. And when I say he has Barry's speed, I don't mean that he has a connection to the Speed Force. I mean he literally has Barry's speed. So with all that being said, the question still remains, how exactly could they introduce Red Death on The Flash? Now, of course, the theory that most people used to have is that Reverse Flash, while he was formless, he would take over Ramsey Rosa, aka Bloodwork, thus creating Red Death. Now, I think that's still possible, reason being Reverse Flash needs to get faster, so maybe he figures out that if he combines with uh, Ramsey Rosa or something like that, then he's able to get faster and fight the Flash, and that would create Red Death. I think that'd be pretty interesting. However, with that being said, I think this theory now is just not as likely because Reverse Flash, he's not formless anymore. He's back in form. He's back in his Harrison Wells form. But yeah, I'm still not counting out the possibility of Reverse Flash combining with Ramsey Rosa to create Red Death. I think that'd actually be a pretty cool villain to see on the show. But I really don't think that they're actually going to say that uh, Red Death is going to be Bruce Wayne unless they like want to never reveal Red Death's identity or something like that, which I really don't think would happen. Um, but anyways, so who else might end up being Red Death if it's not going to be Bruce Wayne? Obviously, Ramsey Rosso is a, is a great choice for being Red Death. However, you could just say that Barry could even be Red Death because they could he could just turn evil once again. Maybe he gets contaminated by the negative speed force or something like that. And uh, he just turns like extremely evil and they call him Red Death. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Interesting. Um, however, I think there's an even better storyline that could happen with Barry involving Red Death here. Alright, so let's assume that Ramsey Rosso ends up becoming Red Death. I think he's perfect for Red Death. Um, I think it would be really cool if he like stole Barry's speed somehow, and that's how he became Red Death. That would, uh, that would be super comic book accurate. Obviously, they really can't use Bruce Wayne, so what else are they going to do? They're just going to be as comic book, comic book accurate as possible and uh, steal Barry's speed and make uh, Ramsey Rosso Red Death. I think that'd be awesome. Of course, another option is that Ramsey Rosso gets contaminated by the negative speed force if he doesn't get taken over by reverse force. Flash, he could just get uh, contaminated by the negative speed force, and that's how he becomes a speedster. I think that'd be great to see. And I really think that they actually have been planning to make Ramsey Rosso Red Death because, first of all, what, what what's going to happen if Ramsey Rosso escapes uh, Argus? What's he going to do? He's just going to fight the Flash and then get caught again and thrown back in Argus. Like, there's nothing there's nothing else going off of that. There's no new storyline with that. Um, so I definitely think him becoming Red Death would be a great decision for his character. And The Flash's showrunner, Eric Wallace, did say that there's going to be like a horror-type villain coming up soon in The Flash Season 8. And of course, it's really likely that that could end up being Red Death. Obviously, he was teased, so you'd have to think Eric Wallace would know about Red Death. Another thing that I think would be really cool if they end up saying like, you know, Black Flash was revived after Crisis on Infinite Earths and maybe like he's something that combines with Red Death. I think that'd be pretty cool. What if like Black Flash, he just like he he gets contaminated by the negative speed force and then he becomes Red Death. He wouldn't really be a human if that ended up happening. And I think that would honestly be pretty cool. It'd basically be Zoom except Red Death. And I think that would be a really cool villain to see on the show. So yeah guys, if Red Death does end up appearing in Season 8, it will most likely be in the first half of the season, because in the second half, we know that the villain uh, that appears will be like sort of something that might threaten Barry and Iris' marriage, which hopefully is going to be Eddie Thawne as Cobalt Blue, that would be awesome to see. Um, so yeah, Red Death coming in the first half of the season, possibly, that would be amazing. But anyways, I'd say that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below as well as your thoughts on, you know, just Red Death in general. Do you, who do you guys think he might be? How do you think he might become Red Death? Do you think he'll even appear at all? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.